hello everyone today in this video we are going to discuss about one more amazing uh, extension so for example i am doing coding and i am stuck on somewhere and i need someone help so how can i share my code and then you know, the first thing is i will share screenshot or i can copy the script and then paste it to my uh, colleague so he can he can't understand from this uh, little bit snippet so how we can share whole of our project without sending it to the skype or some other mediums so for this you can use the live share extension uh, if you want to uh, share your code with someone so you can instantly share with this live share extension so let's click on this extension and here search your live share live share and uh, let's click on this second one and install this live share so basically it's a simple pack so you need to install the first one and it will install these three ones so it will also so you can also share the audio you can share the full project and you can also share the uh, share the web browser also it will instantly share your web browser and it will behave in other uh, in other web browser in other pc web browser as it's running in your computer so it's very handy okay so it's so uh, installing these extension and you can also read out from the error extension right so this is basically a pack and it's installing it's installing for audio it's for live share so when you install this this icon will be appeared here and then you need to log in within your github account or you can log in it from your hotmail account and i'm also giving uh, giving you a quick uh, demo that how you can share your code with someone other and how you can log in and stuff like that so let's wait for a moment to complete this process and then we are going to discuss about how we can uh, share the code snippet and stuff like that before this i'm going to tell you one more thing if you are looking for font of some and you don't know uh, how to change the font of some in i already told you in the previous video but i want to also tell you that there are different font families exist so you can uh, view it from here and implement it into your vs code right so then you can also apply multiple families at once and uh, let me close this out and go here so there is a medium article which is representing the font font name with the with its visualization so if you change this uh, monaco so it will behave like this and if you change this with uh, this one it will behave like this and there is much more things so you can view it from there and uh, you can call it into your text editor so it's totally upon you so let me go to the text editor and check that uh, no it's still installing and it's taking too much time so i need to wait for it to complete this process i'm not going to pause this video so let me close some other file let me close this out so hope you are familiar with this setting.json in the previous video i told you that how you can change your font family size and stuff like that from this setting.json file right and if i go here and uh, click on this my project to uh, and i have also explained other thing like uh, how you can add the namespace at the top or how to add the spaces uh, between uh, mustache sign uh, how to how to go to the controller how to go to the view and uh, stuff like that so if you are not familiar with this one so basically this is the full series where you can learn where you can master in the vs code so you don't need to manually do anything in the vs code if you are using laravel so if you are using different things you can install the extension based on your preference but i am explaining about the php and laravel so if you are using php or laravel you can follow this series so it's a very uh, descriptive series i will also tell you that how you can create the uh, workspace here in your project and how to open this how to multi open multiple project in the workspace so let me check the video size i'm also going to shoot this in this uh, video because it's taking too much time to install so now i'm not going to do this so let me pause the video and then i'm coming back 
okay this extension is now installed and if i go here and let's uh, take ion is this there is a live share tab right if i click on it so there is two options the first one is share and second one is join so if you want to share your code so you need to click on this here and if you want to join someone session so you need to copy you need to get the link from the someone other and then paste this link here and then hit enter so you will join uh, some another session so it's very simple but if you want to share your code with someone other so let's click on this here and then it's telling us there to collaborate in session and then you need to type ok right and it's going to uh, you need to allow this access for this firewall okay wait for a moment so it will now allow us to log in with the github or something else right so it's loading my pre-request trees so it means that i'm logging with the hadi niazi so if you are not logging so let's click on this here so it will tell you that how you can so there is uh, when you click on this it will show you two options the first one is github and second one is hotmail so you can log in it from the both ones so i already share with the code with the lookman and sobia yeah, that's why there are participants are here right so now how i'm going to share the code right so let's click on this here and uh, participant and uh, how i'm going to share i'm going to uh, share invite participant okay uh, okay sorry so here in, in says that invite link copy to clipboard so it means that a link is copied into my clipboard so if i go here new tab so paste it so this is the link which is used to i need to send it to other developers and other developer will uh, go to their text editor click on this extension and click on this uh, join and you can join my session so let me close this out so then join option will be appeared so you can close it from by clicking on this right and uh, other developer can click on this and uh, paste this link here so let me copy this link and paste this link here and hit enter and it will be added into my uh, screen share right so he, uh, he can control his uh, control my code from his vs code his own setting so my setting will not be shared so it's applied uh, basically he can manage uh, his uh, manage my code from his own text editor so it's very useful so in the team where it's very it's very hard to maintain the codes so when, when you code something so it's uh, uh, there is a little bit to uh, difference when you are doing some things so it's uh, taking some time and you are doing mistakes so that's it uh, for this video so hope you like this uh, uh, live share extension because it's very useful so in the next video we are going to do our next stuff and next video is more amazing so i will meet you in the next one bye bye